the Maintenance Act. We continue reading section 14. We're now at subsection 4. In determining the amount and duration of support, the court shall consider all the circumstances of the parties, including the matters specified in section 5, subsection 2, section 9, subsection 2, or section 10, subsection 2, as the case may require. And, right, so they're considering how much money. The judge is considering how much money you must pay in, car in carrying out your responsibility to support. So, they consider A. The respondents, that is your and your dependents, assets and means, the amount of money you have and what you own already as well as what your dependent own already right your parents or grandparents that they will they are ordering you to maintain b the assets and means that the dependent and the respondent are likely to have in the future c the dependent's capacity Remember, the dependent is the person who you are being ordered to support. The dependent's capacity to contribute to the dependent's own support. D. The capacity of the respondent to provide support. So they see if you can afford to provide support and how much. E. The mental and physical health and age of the dependent and the respondent and the capacity of each of them for appropriate gainful employment okay f the measures available for the dependent to become able to provide for the dependent's own support and the length of time and cost involved to enable the dependent to take on those measures. So, in that case, your grandparents, who the court is going to be ordering you to support, the what they would have to do in order to start working to support themselves the court will consider that and how long it will take them to get themselves together to start working g any legal obligation of the respondent or the dependent to provide support for another person okay so if the court already ordered you to space, spousal support and child support then they are going to be ordering you to support your grandparents then they consider that you are already support you are already paying spousal and child support all right h the, the desirability of the dependent or respondent Staying at home to take care, to care for a child. Okay, they consider whether you want to stay at home to care for the child that you're supposed to support. I, any contribution made by the dependent to the realization of the respondent's career potential oh so if your parents are sick and you are being ordered to support them but they had made a lot of contribution towards your career potential they were recently 
taking care of certain things to help you to build your career. The court will look at that as well. J. Any other legal right of the dependent to support other than out of public funds. Okay. K, the extent to which the payment of maintenance to the dependent would increase the dependent's earning capacity by enabling the dependent to undertake a course of education or training or to establish himself or herself in a business or otherwise to obtain an adequate income or oh, the extent to which the payment of maintenance to the dependent oh so it could be that the person who you are being ordered to maintain would they be able to use some money to study a course and get a job or to build a business the court might order that you pay them that money so that they can get themselves together and stop the having to depend on you. It seems to be the case. L. So, so here, maybe the dependent. Well, could be. Could it be a case? where you're paying support over a certain period of time to your um, ex-wife who has divorced it seems as if the court could possibly order you to pay school fee or to pay towards a business that they want to support and then give you a certain time to pay and at the end of the course or at the end of a certain time when they should be operating the business the court says no more payment after that probably that is the case right All right okay l the quality of the relationship between the dependent and the respondent okay so the court considers the quality of the relationship uh, i guess there's a lot of factors and issues that could be considered here m any fact or circumstance which in the opinion of the court the justice of the case requires to be taken into account right so that was section 14 of the maintenance act